Welcome to Accounting in Focus. In this video we are going to talk about how to break down a bond problem. Rather than just jumping into the calculations, as I said in the last video, it's really important to understand what's happening here. So in this problem, the company plans to sell $50,000 worth of four-year 8% semi-annual bonds. How much will the bond sell for if the market rate is 10%, 8%, and 6%? Okay, so let's think about what's happening. So the company is going out into the marketplace and saying, hi, we need money today. Okay, and if you give us money today, here's what we're going to do for you. <clears throat> here's my timeline. If you give us money today, then we are going to give you we're going to give you fifty thousand dollars four years from now okay so in four years we'll give you fifty thousand and as an added bonus we're also going to give you let's see let's divide this now so let's one two three four five, six, seven, eight. Okay. We are also going to give you semi-annual payments, which means twice per year. Okay. Two times per year for four years. Okay. So we're going to give you eight payments. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight payments of interest at 8%. Okay, so it might be helpful at this point while we're thinking about interest to let's actually calculate it. Okay, do you remember the formula for interest? Okay, most of my students remember it as I equals P R T principal times rate times time. Okay, the principal is the outstanding balance on the loan. So that's fifty thousand dollars. Okay, the rate is the face rate of the bond, which is eight percent times time. So you've got to think of out of a full year. Okay how much time is each payment covering. So if it's a semi-annual bond, it's being paid twice a year, so each interest payment is six months out of 12. You can also say it's half a year, you can say it's 180 out of 360, it still comes out to half, okay? So if I do the calculation on that, the calculation is going to be half of 8% is four, times 50,000 is $2,000. Okay, so I'm going to get, for this bond, I'm going to get eight payments of interest, $2,000 per payment. Okay, so now what I have to think of as an investor is I have to say, what would I be willing to pay to receive eight payments of interest, $2,000, and in four years, get $50,000. And the way that I determine how much I'd be willing to pay for that is by looking at the market rate. Okay, so the market rates are really important. So if you think about it, if my bond is going to pay 8%, but my market rate is 10%, which means I can go other places and get 10%. I don't know if I want to buy this bond. I'm going to need some incentive to buy this bond. So, because I could take my money elsewhere and get 10. So why would I buy your bond for eight? That incentive is called a discount. So if you watched the last video, you know that there's three conditions you can sell bonds under. Par, discount and premium. 
Okay, discount means I'm getting an incentive to buy the bond because the interest rate on the bond is less than the market rate. Okay, so I'm going to need some kind of incentive. Now, if you you know that if you put money in a savings account, even with today's terrible interest rates, if I put a dollar in today, four years from today, it's going to be worth more than a dollar. Okay. Conversely, fifty thousand dollars in four years is not worth fifty thousand today. Right? Because the money is going to grow. If I put the money in some type of investment, it's going to grow. So what I need to do is I need to figure out what is fifty thousand dollars in four years do worth today. That is called present value. What is the present value of fifty thousand dollars in four years? Now with a bond, I'm not just receiving the fifty thousand, I'm also receiving eight payments of interest. Right? So I'm going to receive eight payments of two thousand dollars. Eight payments, this is a series of payments. And a series of payments is called an annuity. Okay. Now, there's actually there's a very complicated formula for figuring out present value. The nice thing with most accounting classes you'll take, and even most finance classes you'll take, is we have these neat tables, and that's why I have the table sitting over here. You might have been wondering why are those tables there. Okay. There are two tables specifically that we use for bonds. One is present value of a dollar. The other one is present value of an ordinary annuity. And in order to do a bond calculation, you need both of these tables. Because the present value of a dollar is when you have one payment. Okay. Do we have that situation, this problem? We do. Right, the fifty thousand dollars is one payment. An annuity, we said that's a series of payments, and do we have that also? Yes, we do, because we have the eight payments of interest. Okay, so that's why we need both of these tables. So we need to do is we need to figure out what is today's value, the present value of the fifty thousand dollars received in four years, and the eight payments of interest of two thousand dollars and what we'll do in the next series of videos is we'll actually go through each one of these calculations to determine how much these bonds will sell for based on the present value of the investment